Good morning, everybody. Today is 6-24-2024. My time is 8.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can see that we've had a 6.3 earthquake four hours and 41 minutes ago in Vanuatu. It was 157 kilometers deep, and I have already put it in on Google Earth. So we can see that the earthquake was here. This here is a subduction zone. It's also the Pacific Australian convergent boundary. When we move up here, this white line here is Hazel Holmes extensional zone divergent boundary. And this runs back around this way. And these right here are faults. So as we look, this is Mount Goa volcano. We'll come in really close to it. This is the closest volcano to the earthquake. So I was looking at that. And this island is also known as Santa Maria. It's roughly 20 kilometers in diameter and consists of a stratovolcano with a 6 by 9 kilometer wide summit caldera. Mount Garrett, also known as Garat, in the southwest part of the caldera is an active cone with three pit craters across the summit area and as dominant site eruptions recorded since July 1962. The crescent-shaped lape latus is east of Mount Garrett. The most recent eruption period occurred during 17 September to 10 October of 2011. So let's back out real quick here. We can see this is Lake Latus here, and this is the volcano here. Occasional gas and steam emissions originate from Mount Garrett have been reported by VMGD and were visible in satellite imagery and by local observers. So that is very interesting information about this volcano. But in relation to where it is with the earthquake, I would assume that this is activity caused by subduction and maybe volcanism, but remains to be seen. So anyways, what I've been looking at today is earthquakes that are ongoing in California as well, because we've had quite a few earthquakes today. And they are coming from, and I'm going to say, I think, down here in the Gulf of California, we can see that we've had quite a few earthquakes in Los Angeles area. So if you don't mind, we'll take a look at this. I'm going back to EMSC here real quick. So we can see that the last earthquake in California 25 minutes ago was a 3.6. And the other earthquake right before that was a 3.2 in greater Los Angeles. Then there was a 2.1 here. So let's pull this up for, we'll say, yesterday and today. And we'll pull up California. And we'll look at the activity that occurred yesterday and today. There was a 3.6 yesterday, which was 17 hours ago. Then there was a 3.2 and the 3.6. So that's just yesterday and today. So it is busy down there. And I have been watching this because there have been quite a few earthquakes here in the Gulf of California. And these were near the Continental Transform Fault, which also runs to the San Andreas. So we know that to be. It's a North American Pacific plate and transform boundary. So that is why I think that there is so much earthquakes going on is because there's been activity down here in the Gulf of California, which is affecting this area here. This area here is probably affecting this area here. 
that is my opinion. I'm sure there are other people which will say it was because of something else. But there was also a 5.2, I believe it was, down here in Herrera, Mexico. And yesterday, over here, there was a 6.3 in this area, which to me was very different because I was not used to seeing earthquakes in that location, which tells us that this area and the Cocos Plate is in motion. And you can evidence that by the fact that down here in Mexico, this is the activity that is going on from the 21st till now. And I did put those into Google Earth, so you can see I've downloaded quite a few KMLs to look at this activity. We had a 2.8 off the coast of Northern California. We had a 3.4, which head up here. And this is right off of the Maakama Fault Zone. And the, this is two days activity for California. So I had inputted the 3.4, which occurred yesterday, as well as the 2.0 today. Then we can look down here and see that this is the Kaliami Fault with a 3.6 earthquake near it, but not on it. As we move down further, we can see that we've had a 2.0 in between the Great Valley Fault and North American Pacific Plate here, which is also the San Andreas. But it is not on them, so that is not something to be worried about. Then there's a 2.2, which was near the Oceanic West Hasna Fault. As we move down here further, we can see that these faults here are being disrupted, but they are not being hit. This is the Elysium Fault, and this is the Raymond Fault. So we move down here further, we can see this is the Yorba Linda Fault, and there's been a 2.5 and a 2.0. This is the Los Angeles area. As we look over here, this is the Elsinore Fault with a 2.2 near it. Over here, we have a 2.8. That one is hitting on a fault, as you can see by looking at it. And that is the Crafton Hills Fault. That one has a possibility of a 6.4 earthquake. And that is a 2.8, which has hit this fault. This earthquake was 15 kilometers in depth. As we move down here further, you can see that there was a 2.5, and it did hit the San Jacinto. So it was on it as you can see, as evidenced by Google Earth. As we move down here further near the Salton Sea, this is the San Jacinto Fault Zone. This is the San Felipe Fault. And this is a 2.5 in between those. As we look over here at the San Jacinto and the San Jacinto Anza, we can see there's been a 3.6, and that is near... Southern California. And that earthquake was on the 23rd, which was yesterday. So when I look at the earthquakes that are going on down here in Baja, California, see 2.1, 3.3, 3.2, 3.5, 3.1, 3.2, 3.5. Three point four, three point four. That is probably why we're seeing three point oh activity on these fault lines here. Down here we have a four point one and a three point three. Anyways, you guys, just wanted to do a real quick update. I hope that y'all are doing well today. I hope that everything is going well for everyone in your area. Please be safe. Remember to have a plan and a go bag. There has been a 4.0 off the Jaliso, Mexico. And I'm looking at this because that's the Cocos Plate. 
So that is a 4.0 on the cocos plate area. Then we've had a 3.8. Biggest deal with the cocos plate is if the cocos plate fractures, and that was on the cocos plate, it can cause more activity to the San Andreas. Anyways, you guys, I hope you all are doing well. Please be safe. Take good care of yourselves and each other. Make sure you have a bug out bag and a plan and know what you will do if you have to leave your area. Also, something that a lot of people don't talk a whole lot about is a lot of people say they will bug out at home. If you cannot bug out at home, what would your plan be? You need to have a plan B. And that is where you will go to be safe away from your safe area. Anyways, you guys, much love. God bless. Take care and have a great and wonderful day. And I will continue to keep an eye on the earthquakes.